This man is attempting something on a massive scale, melting over 50 pounds of bismuth in his backyard. The final result is absolutely breathtaking, but let's break down if this DIY setup is a brilliant experiment or just incredibly dangerous. You need to see the final crystal he pulls out at the end. Right away, the sheer volume of metal is staggering. The time lapse shows it liquefying, and the use of fire bricks for insulation is actually a smart move to maintain a stable temperature. However, the choice of a simple pan for a 50 pound chemical process is a major concern. And now he's adding a blowtorch. This is where things go from risky to genuinely hazardous. He's doing it to melt the new bismuth faster. And that immediate purple color you see is the metal rapidly oxidizing. While it looks amazing, this introduces a serious uncontrolled fire risk. After skimming the impurities, he lets the top cool. Now this next step is the most dangerous part of the entire video. He's about to pour out the liquid core from a massive 50 pound geode of molten metal. I'm not seeing any heavy-duty safety gear, and one splash here could be catastrophic. With the geode cooling, he begins to chisel it apart. The scientific reason these crystals are so large and perfectly formed is because that huge 50-pound mass allowed for very slow, even cooling, giving the atoms time to stack into that classic hopper crystal shape. The stunning greens, purples, and silvers aren't the color of the metal itself, but are caused by the thickness of that bismuth oxide layer on the surface, which is just nanometers thin. <laughs> it's a beautiful result of physics, but wow, what a risk to get here. Now check out this final piece. He pulls out an entire cityscape of crystals. <laughs> a totally rad result, but absolutely not a project to try without professional equipment. 